Hi, Luke from Korg here, and today I'm showing you the Volker Kick. This is our analog kick generator, which has two MS20 filters and a 16-step sequencer built in as well. So let's dive in and have a listen. So the kick drum itself is built up of, in this case, three building blocks. And I'm just going to show you the individual building blocks just to show you how powerful the Volker Kick can be to isolate the three of those. So the first one you've got is what, what I call the thump which sounds like that. And then using this MS20 resonator, which is a self-oscillating MS20 filter, we can actually start tuning it and adjusting the bend. And we can even get some kind of zap sound effects by doing that as well with that portion of the sound. We've also got the click. So that's at the very front end of the sound. And on its own, it just sounds like that. But you can change the color of that as well. And then you've got kind of the most exciting part of the kick drum, if you like. That's the pitchable part of it. So there we go. That's what it sounds like. And you can adjust the envelope. So we can make the decay really ring out. We can adjust the attack as well, soften that up. We can even have it fully sustaining. So I can just play that. But what's great is that's completely tunable and pitchable. So I can change the pitch of it. But I can also play it via this chromatic keyboard. So you can really get in there and start using it to play some of those kind of pitchable basses as well, which is great. So let's put those three parts of the kick drum together. And then you've got this. So you can hear you've got the click, the thump, and the tonal part of the kick drum as well. And obviously I can make that ring out if I want to. So in the Volker kick, you've got 16 memories, and you can recall those at any time. Just hold down memory. I'm going to recall number five there. And each one of those not only has a sound, but it also has a sequence as well. So I can press play and it'll play back a pattern for you. You've also got two other controls on here called Drive and Tone, and they're really great for kind of developing your sound. So let's increase the decay so it rings out a little bit and then start bringing some drive in. So you can hear how much difference that can make to the sound. Plus you have a tone control, which is a second MS20 filter like a low pass filter which you can roll off the highs and then really kind of sculpt out the frequency range that you want for your for your kick so you have your 16 step sequencer inside but what's great is that you can sequence not only notes but also any motion you put into that pattern as well so uh, here we've got a pattern and of course we can change the tempo put the tempo up a little bit. It tells you the BPM here in the display. Now if I wanted to record some motion into that, all I need to do is play it, hit record, turn on motion sequence, let's put some decay in there. So you can hear that's recorded the motion and also this is lit up as well to tell me that as well. Another way you can vary your patterns is using active steps. So if I pr press that now and play back this pattern, you'll see this is actually only using those steps which are lit up. So let's put the ones that aren't lit up. So you're now getting a really irregular pattern and let's put these ones at the end that aren't used as well. So now we're back to a kind of 4-4 pattern. But then you can take out some random ones. So you can get some real experimental stuff going there. And you've also got accent. So we can take out all the accents and then we can just highlight just those steps if we want to. And then we can use the accent control here to adjust how much 
overall accent we need. So how much that parameter is working, if you like. OK, so as you can see, I've brought in some extra equipment to show you some of the connections on the Volker Kick. First of all, I wanted to show you MIDI in. So I've got this NanoPad 2 connected via USB host, USB out of here, into the host, back, back out into MIDI. And that means that I can play the Volker Kick via these pads, which are the same as playing chromatically on this keyboard. And if your controller's got controllers on it, it means you can map those controllers to parameters in the Volker Kick. So for example here, we've got this XY Chaos Pad controlling things like the toe and the drive. And then you can kind of feel your way through the sound to get the sweet stop spot of what you want. It also means that if you've got a pattern playing in your Volker, you can overdub with a MIDI controller just by hitting record. just repurpose those notes into that pattern there. You get a sync cable included with your Volker kick as well. So what that enables you to do is connect to other Volkers or other equipment with this sync protocol on there. And um, it means that the timing will be in sync. So if I select a different pattern here and then play back my pattern, let's play back the pattern that's in the Vocal sample. So you can hear that obviously at different tempos. But let's connect the sync cable. So I'm going to go sync out of the Volker kick into the Volker sample. Press play on both. And now they're completely in time. I can change the tempo. And it shows me on the readout there what the BPM is. Which is really cool. And these two Volkers are great because they both have swing. So that means I can actually adjust the feel of the pattern. And if I want to give myself a more kind of dotted feel. So um, if I turn the swing up here on the Volker sample to, to say 25 and do the same on a Volker kick, you're now here. You've got more of a dotted feel. You can change pitch as well on the Volker kick. There's also a neat little hidden feature in here where it will show you with a dot what the original parameter was. So in that case, it's 19. So I can go back to my original pitch. Let's put the swing back to normal. You heard the difference. So completely straight. Another great feature in the Volker Kick is touch effects, and it's great for performance. So let's see how that works. Let's start off our patterns. Press touch effects. And it enables you to do things like change the note values to different things like triplet feels, but also things like change the octave. Change the sustain. You can even just mute the pattern for as long as you want. Okay, so other connections on your Volker kick, you've got your audio output, which doubles up as a headphone jack as well, but you've also got a speaker built in underneath, so you can use your Volker on the move if you want to. You've also got a power connection. So we're running off the included batteries today, but you can get an optional power supply, which is a KA350, or you could get a Volker Mix, and that'll power up to three Volkers simultaneously. Okay, so there you go. That is the Volker Kick. Go and check it out. <laughs>